Hello students, I am here to discuss your biology, the chapter 13 of NCRT that is why do we fall ill. So from the chapter heading, why do we fall ill, it means illness comes to us due to which region, what are, what are the causes of illness in our body. So see any abnormalities which comes to our body means consider as an illness. You see here, health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. So health means what? You are, you should be physically, you should be mental, mentally and socially well, not merely the absence of disease. If you have no disease, you are fit, that is not a matter. Matter is the physically, mentally and socially you should be healthy. So this is the definition of health. Now we say disease, disease means this easy, not feeling easy, that is called this easy, disease. So a condition of the body or some part of or organ of the body in which its functions are disturbed. It means the whole body or a part of the body is not properly doing their own function. That is called diseased condition. The condition is called diseased. Now say the <coughs> causes of disease. So how, how disease comes to us and what are the causes of disease? If we know the cause, if you know that how your marks is less then you are able to do more work, more hard work and then you achieve more marks. So this is the things behind it. So what are the causes of the disease? How disease occurs to our body? So say <coughs> external cause and internal cause. External cause means causal organism may be from outside or they are from the outside. Internal cause means inside our body something going wrong that is why there is disease. Now see we will discuss one by one the external cause, the pathogen. Pathogen means you know different type of pathogens means the disease causing organism that is called pathogen and who carry the pathogen is called vector. So see disease causing organism, disease causing organism okay and the organism who carry this pathogen is called vector vector can carry the disease causing organism and uh, means communicate the disease from one to another so this is the first cause that is the pathogen by pathogen either they are microbes Okay, bacteria, fungi, virus, protozoa, so they can cause the disease. So this is the disease causing by pathogen. Now second one, the inadequate diet, it means your food is insufficient. Whatever, what things you required, you can't do, you can't take that food. That is called insufficient or we can say inadequate diet. Diet is not proper, balance. To your requirement means according to your body requirement the balance diet is not taken that is called inadequate diet due to inadequate diet we can suffer from the different type of disease which are we can say deficiency disease deficiency disease of vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c so many diseases are caused by the deficiency of this vitamins sometimes the uh, means uh, uh, carbohydrate uh, proteins also that is merasmus, quasiorcar or the disease caused due to the def deficiency of food in our diet, everyday diet. So it is not a matter that uh, uh, yesterday we did not take the uh, uh, leafy vegetables, today we uh, suffer from different type of uh, uh, vitamin A deficiency disease. So this is not, but if your habit is continue to do that activity lacking of food, then after you suffer from the disease which is from the lack of that one. So see, here you see, <coughs> third one, by environmental pollution. Nowadays, 
due to our activities of doing the things not in proper or natural way, the pollution is continuously in <coughs> going on in our environment. So, environmental pollution of air, water, soil, these are common to us. So, you can see dirty um, uh, smoke or come out from the vehicles, ok. You can see that your factories also emit the uh, smoke and uh, dust. So, many things are going on in our environment which are really required for development, but really they can also in the other hand they can also cause damage to the environment and cause the pollution. So, pollution is one of the cause of our disease. So, see different type of lungs disease caused by the help of uh, lung caused by the help of air pollution, water pollution also, also um, done in our uh, water sources and they can cause different type of diseases like malaria, typhoid, jaundice, so different type of disease caused by water pollution. Soil when polluted or means chemicalized chemicals used in the uh, crop field, it ultimately goes to the soil and soil become polluted with the chemicals. Sometimes solid waste or solid uh, substances which thrown to the uh, soil or land, they may also cause the pollution. So, pollution of air, water, soil can hamper us directly or indirectly and uh, our health become damaged due to that. Now, the bad activities that is chewing of tobacco, uh, drinking alcohol, narcotic drugs taken, these are the different type of activities habitat, hab habit, habit or we can say habituated. The person uh, from these things can cause disease to the, their bodies. Initially, they think that this is very good for them, but ultimately or finally, they can hamper their uh, health badly and damage their liver, damage their uh, tobacco chewing is also very dangerous for our mouth and uh, narcotic drugs you know very uh, sensitive and make us uh, paralyzed or make our nervous system very much damaged. So, these are the different type of uh, uh, means habituated activities by which our health become damaged. So, these are the external activities factors which can damage our health. Now, internal factors manufacture um, malfunctioning of the body parts. See, body parts are not functioning properly due to that our uh, health become damaged. So, suppose your kidney not support, your lungs is not functioning, sometimes heart is not properly work or normal work. So, this is the way by which heart beat is more or pressure of blood is more, lungs can not support or some problem due to the more smoking or other things, lungs become damaged, tar is uh, inside the lungs. So, this is the mal malfunctioning of the body parts, our kidney not functioning, stone of kidney, gallbladder stone or other things be that particular things damaged due to our own activities or our own uh, food habit, our own uh, living condition. So, but they malfunction and make the body damaged or unhealthy. Now, genetic disorder, genetic disorder means sometimes some diseases comes from the parents or we can say from our, our uh, forefathers. So, genetic disorder also comes to us due to, uh, due to that the health become damaged or the we can suffer from any disease. Now, hypo or hyper of uh, hormone, see hypo means less, hypo means less and hyper means more, hyper means more, both are not proper. So, it should be balanced it should be means secretion of hormone should be balanced because these are the chemicals very effective to us and permanently do work to us. So, if they are hyposecreted, suppose growth hormone, hyposecretion takes place there, what happens? This will damage, that means they are, the growth of the individual become retard or they become dwarf. If it secretes more, growth hormone secretes more, then what happens? the person become gigantism means it become very much bigger in size. So, this is what? This is also abnormalities due to hyper and hyposecretion of chemicals. Now, manufacturing of body's immune system or malfunctioning, sorry, malfunctioning means less functioning. 
so if the function of our immune system is not proper what happens that is damaging to us our health it means the immune system should be boost immunity for developing immunity they are not doing the activities of their own in the proper way so see malfunction of the body immunity immune system will damage us and it functions it, if it function properly then now nowadays what we do we can complete we can make our activities so malfunctioning of body body immune system is really not proper if not proper what happens we are unable to do our activities so to improve our immunity what we do we are able to gain our activities by the things which improve our immunity system so for improving immunity we are able to take different type of things which makes our body healthy regarding the immunity now see the types of disease it may be acute or chronic acute disease can be rectified means it is very short for, for very short period it is long period or more <coughs> damaging is there so acute disease like some common cold cough and chronic disease means like jaundice like typhoid so these can damage and you should take bed rest due to chronic disease acute disease will not that much uh, harming us and it will cure after two or three days uh, this these things is very much in control uh, these are these are uh, having damaging now <coughs> disease may be either congenital or by birth or acquired from the outside either the infectious disease or non infectious disease sign and symptoms so see <coughs> what things means how doctors identify the disease by their sign and symptom so see what sign comes to their <coughs> that is sign may be either fever okay they suffer from fever they have headache headache they may <coughs> have some swellings or inflammation inflammation in their body parts and they may having coughing sneezing so these are the disease symptom or sign so if the doctor is very much a, um, expert they know that what is going on and they rectify the disease in easy way but when there is a, uh, means no more uh, act, means they can't uh, understood the symptoms so they send the patient that you can do this this, this test so blood test sputum test or other test they can identify or confirm by the help of the report of the test and then they give diagnose the uh, disease accordingly their report so this is the way by which the doctors help means these symptoms help doctor to treat the disease in proper way okay so what are the main points by which we can understood the things see here principle of treatment how we treat that person who suffer from the disease the first one to reduce if effects of the disease first effect should be reduced and second to kill the cause of the disease so how the disease become uh, means reduced reduced means what so <coughs> to reduce effect of the disease disease effect should be reduced to be minimized suppose you suffer from coughing sneezing or suffer from any type of infection from outside what should you do you have to control the growth of the pathogen first that is called the reduce the effect of the disease first to control their growth and second to kill the cause of the disease means to kill the pathogen suppose here is your skin lesion some some disease occur in the on the skin so rashes come here and after that so you have to apply medicine on them to control their growth to disconnect their sores and after that what happens you should kill the germs so killing controlling and killing suppose any places there is a 
gathering okay and some mob is there what do you do you should control initially the mob after that you disperse them by your skill so this is the germ first to control okay their growth to reduce the effect of the disease and after that to cause the disease or kill the germs pathogens of the disease so this is the way by which we, we can understood that how we can uh, control that different type of things now see vaccines and a sometimes vaccine we can use different our vaccines done vaccination to us and this is the pre treatment it means before coming of the disease it is a pre treatment we can do and after that what we do we cannot suffer from the disease uh, in future so if you vaccinated by dpt you cannot suffer from the diphtheria tetanus pertussis these are the disease which is controlled by dpt dtp sorry and uh, hepatitis b control control the disease hepatitis and uh, polio that is polio myelitis and uh, bcg bacillus bacillus commutogenic it is tuberculosis the disease tuberculosis tb is controlled by this one so these are the different type of vaccines which allow us to make our body fit and not uh, miss by allowing the uh, things to not to come to us and then it can cause the uh, miss it can keep our body healthy or safe so this is the way by which we understood the importance of vaccine so time to time and according to the age we should always try to use the vaccines in our body and it is good for our health okay so this is the way we understood our health good and to make our health good in the different sense okay thank you